Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide, and this time, we are getting it all in Chronostase, the Electric Collection. This was developed by Chronostase, published by Penguin Pop Games and Rataliker Games, and is usually available for just $7.99. Now, this is actually quite the fun puzzle game, it's basically based on the box-pushing Sokoban genre of games. It's all electrical, uh, but do not worry, electrical based, but don't worry, like I said, you you not need be no electrician to solve them. Nor will you become a certified lucky afterwards, which is a which is a shame, because electric men and women are in the money. Um, but as for, for achievements, basically we just have to play all seven game modes and only complete level four in each one. Of course, since they are the first four levels and everything, they are very easy. Uh, now there are 350 levels all in all in the game, so always feel free to test yourself. Uh, this should take you anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes. It's another lovely 1k, so with that being said then, let us begin. So, we are going to do the very first ones uh, on the left hand side there, which was Light On and Light On Duo. Now, for this first one then, it's basically, uh, well, it's a box pushing game. That's, uh, yeah, pretty much it. Uh, so, so, it's very easy. Oh, uh, as we just load up there. So there it is. Uh, light on. Oops, sorry, went a bit quick there. I'll just show you which one that is. So light on is what we're going to play first. Turn the lights off. What is this? Blackpool Illuminations? The electric bill's going to skyrocket. Anyway, level one. All you got to do is collect the three lightning bolts here to charge up the battery. And then push the box into the correct slot. So obviously there's only going to be one. You're going to push it into the only slot. That's level one done. So for level two then, uh, grab the electrical... Uh, the electric from the top left hand corner push this box in first then grab the bottom right hand corner uh, spark and push this left one over to the uh, left hand side grab the third one push the straight one up first and then of course push the next one in the sort of bendy one as it were and that'll be level two complete right level three may seem a bit more complicated it's not bad this first box push it over twice so you can just get down we're going to push this straight edge one uh, over once grab the spark from the top and then the next one in the middle then we can push the straight one twice over grab the third spark and then grab the bend of the, the right angled one up and then just push the remaining three in and that's job done level three complete oh right on to level four emo so drop down uh first the left square and the right square push down and the other square push to the left so you can grab the spark uh, grab the second spark and the third spark, get the battery nice and charged up, push that one up, and then push the uh, straight one to the right, push the uh, left hand side one to the left and all the way up, and push it all the way to the right, so that's all good, push this next one down and to the right once, and then the straight one to the left and to the up, and that is how you complete level 4, and that is the first set of level 4s done, so now we can just press the start button, go into the menu, and we're going to now choose light on duo. Which kind of uh, kind of sounds like a, a, a Tampax advert, to be honest. Uh, I'm just joking. Right, so, uh, again, uh, what we're doing is obviously grabbing the three sparks, pushing the straight one down, and that will complete the first level. Now, you can see the blue blocks. Basically, if you press the X button, you will turn blue, and you are now have the ability to push and pull the uh, blue block. So, grab the first spark, and then push this right-angled one up. Grab the next two sparks. And then what we're going to do now is push this straight one uh, down a couple and then just move it over to the right slightly. Press the X button now to turn blue and you can actually grab this one. So grab it and then push. Uh, <laughs> Sometimes it can be a kind of finicky, so make sure to just pull that one up. So it is uh, not all the way up. And then you're going to have to press the X button to go back into it. Or to the yellow one and then push it in the slot and that is that one complete. So on to level three then. So what we're going to do, we're going to turn blue and we're going to get this first straight one out uh, by two and then the second one out by two and then we can just go ahead and collect all the sparks after you turn yourself back green or yellow, whatever the bloody hell colour we are. Go blue again and now sometimes uh, you may, <laughs> it may mess up now and again. Uh, as you can see, um, we're not actually meant to pull the straight one up but for whatever particular reason it's sometimes it just goes up by itself, so just be aware of that. But we need to grab these two down, and then, of course, turn blue to grab the next two straight ones. God damn it, that's a pain in the ass. So, so yeah, just be careful with that one. But all you're doing is turning blue, and then you can only pull them. Or, evidently, you can only pull this one anyway. 
Oh, son of a... See how janky and weird the controls can be? Yes, yes, yes. So, on to level four then. This seems a bit easier than the last one. What we're going to do is grab the first spark, push the straight one over and grab the next spark. Push these two to the right slightly. And then we're going to drop down and grab the third spark. Now we can just push this straight one all the way up. Turn blue to grab this battery. And again, you're going to turn blue, back blue again to pull it. And then turn yellow or green, whatever it is. And turn blue to pull it down. And then just pull the last two over to the left to complete this puzzle. Now, for whatever particular reason, the rest of the game seemed to get a lot easier. So we're just going to go back into the main menu. And then in the bottom right hand corner, we're going to see the exit sign. So exit out. There's only one exit. And that's out your butt. No, uh, puzzle light is going to be the... <laughs> sorry. I'm so sorry. The, the puzzle light then is going to be the second game mode that we're going to play. Uh, so we just get through once again. Oh, hi, puzzle light. So there's no uh, box pushes. What we're going to do is just basically swap the tiles. So swap the top left for the top right. And that's the first level complete. And that's what we're going to be doing a lot of for the majority of the game. Just swapping tiles and rotating tiles. So for this one then, what we're going to do is grab the uh, middle left and swap it with the top left. And then we're going to grab the top left and swap it with the top right. Ah, there's that. Ah, she blows. Man, I am so... I should be getting paid 12 grand for this. Electrician style. Right, top... Uh, so uh, middle left and then top left. Swap around. And then top left with top right. And then finally, middle right with uh, top... Well, top middle. There it is. That's level three complete. And on to level four then. Again, seems complicated. It's really not so bad. So first of all, grab the middle left and swap it with top left. And then bottom left, swap it with middle bottom. <laughs> and then right middle, swap it with the battery at the top. And that's how you complete that one. That's level four done. So, obviously, again, we can uh, stick the start menu, stick it in a pipe and smoke it, and exit the hell out of this exit joint. Right, next on to Puzzle Light, one move. As you can imagine, uh, it's exactly the same as the last game, but we've only got one move in which to do it in. So, um, well, be aware, this is solidly easy, because, uh, well, I make it easy for you. Plus, it's the first four levels, so it always kind of uh, makes it easy for itself. So, what you're going to do is obviously swat, switch uh, bottom right to top right. There we go. Level one. <laughs> wow, that's fantastic. Fantastic. So, what we're just going to be doing then is grabbing the bulb and swapping it with bottom middle. So, the bulb there, the middle, the middle right to bottom middle. So, I, I hope that's not confusing too many people with the bottom middle, middle right stuff. So grab the battery, swap it with the bulb, and that's how you complete that one. So that was even quicker than the last one. And then on to level four then, what we're going to go ahead and do is grab the bottom right, swap that with the bulb in the top right, and there we go. That's those first four levels complete. So as usual, once again, we can quit out of that menu, quit the hell out of it, dog. And we're going to go to Puzzle Light Rotate. So again, it's the same as the last one, except we just need to rotate the tiles this time. Wow, it's just, yeah, it's incredible what you can do with a rotating tile piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So eventually it's going to happen. Here we go. So obviously what we're going to do then is the uh, middle right one there. Just press the A button on that once to, of course, rotate it. And that will complete the level. Level two, you're going to rotate the left middle piece and then the top left piece a couple of times there and then the top right piece once to complete that circuit. Now, a lot of the times it is you are just going for a square of the majority, so probably don't even need a guide for this, but uh, hey-ho! Right, so what we're going to do first of all then, a couple of things to do. Sorry, I, I was pressing the start button right there. So the bottom right piece then turn a few times. The top right piece turn twice. Uh, the... Th the top left piece turned twice, and that is the completio of level O. One more level to go then. And what we're going to do, turn the battery once, turn the middle right piece once, the left middle piece once, the bottom, le uh, bottom left one a couple of times, and the middle one once. And that is the end of level four. So we can finish, we can banish the rotations of life, exit the hell out of the exit joint, and go to Puzzle Light Slide. And again, 
Just it's just like the last one, except we're going to be using sliding tiles this time. Woohoo! We're getting really into the thick of the action now, huh? Hmm. Mm. Okay, level one, here we go. So, I mean this one is fairly obvious then. The only one that is the only piece that is chilling on its own. Grab it with the A button, slide it down, slide it to the right. Thinking back now, y'all, this is basically the cha cha the cha cha slide moves of life now. So grab the bulb first, down, right, down, left, and take it back now, y'all. You're going to have to press the B button to uh, basically get rid of that or stop holding it. And the last piece, grab it, and then it's, of course, right, down, left. And then you take it back now, y'all. One hop this time. Beep. Right, grab the bottom piece first then and slide it left, up, left, down. Press the B button to let go of it, and then press the uh, grab the middle piece, left, up, left, down, B button, and then grab the last piece, and of course it's left, up, left, down again, and that's completing level 3 Magoni's McSandwiches. Right, for this one, grab the uh, straight piece, grab it up, and pop it down, all the way down, grab the battery next, then it's left, up, left, down, and then of course the final piece, Grab that one and it's left up, left down, or right up, right down, or whatever the hell you want to do. Either way, stick it square where the sun really doesn't shine, and we can just exit out of the, well, where the other sun doesn't shine. Last one then is Puzzle Light Connect. Now this is, um, and I mean it's literally, you just connecting up the um, pieces. So you grab one piece and it sticks together, you grab another piece, it sticks together. If you do end up making a mistake for whatever particular reason, you can just keep pressing the Y button to sort of undo the last couple of moves, and job done. But for this one, just grab the battery and obviously stick it straight, doin! <laughs> stick it doin! No way! For this one, grab the battery, I mean, you've already grabbed the battery, grab the next piece and then go down. So you can see exactly what I mean there. You already start off as the battery, so you already start off as the ones on the right, so... Uh, make sure that the straight piece is there. Now, again, and then just grab that one. If you accidentally end up grabbing what I just did right there, you, again, you can press the Y button to jump off. Go, make sure to go up once, and then finish the puzzle. Boop! I booped you. I booped you on the nose. And for the final one, then, with the battery, what we're going to do first, then, is grab the one at the top. Go to the right to grab that one. So you've got yellow on the left, blue on the right. And then go down, and then go ahead and just pick up the final piece. Again, not like that. I did actually miss, mess that one up. You just need to go to the left once, drop down, and that is the end of that. So, there we go, then, guys and gals. That is Kronos Days, the electric collection. I hope you feel like an electrician. You can go out and solve electrical puzzles now. Try not to do it, though. You might electrocute yourself. But thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. Hope, the, hope you enjoyed the game and hope the guide helped as well. If you did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend. Big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. And I'll see you in the next one. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Big love!